Well, you know, you mentioned Dr. Dre, uh, who's going through a nasty divorce right now. Ooh. And uh, he had a brain aneurysm. Mm. And he was in the hospital for like a week in ICU. Right down the block from me. He was at Cedars. Okay. I live right up the block. Huh. That was like, damn, like, we really thought we might lose Dr. Dre in 2021. And that's where Easy e died, too. Oof. At Cedars, yeah. by the way. Did you ever interact with these guys? I mean, you mentioned how you you know you ran into Dre and stuff like that, but yeah. you guys nah, you guys we, knew each other. Nah, we yeah we we toured together back in the days, man. Oh, kid Believe and play, it or not. And yeah, NWA. Kid, kid and play and NWA. The total it just, opposites. It just feels right. <laughs> <laughs> what could go Listen, wrong? <laughs> if you if you go back to the movie Straight Outta Compton, right? Yeah, that that tour they were on. We were on that tour. They just didn't mention it in the movie. Were you in Detroit when? No, no, we weren't on the Detroit show. But we were because because we actually had to leave the tour a little bit early because we went to go film the original house party. Mm -hmm. So we weren't at the Detroit show, but uh, we we did like I don't know about probably about eight shows with them: uh, uh, Easy E, NWA, Kid and Play, JJ Fad, mm. DOC. Um, I think uh, Kwame may have been on it as well. And um, yeah, and I remember I remember them proposing that tour to us, and I was like. Fuck, we, 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 what are we doing with these gangster dudes, man? Get out of here. And, uh, you know, because I thought it was like two different audiences. I was like, yo, we're not, that's not us. And, you know, everybody else was like, nah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Right. And then we we had the best time. We all, you know, I know them dudes to this day, man. I, I fuck with them. Right. But but to be, to be fair, you really have to understand that back then there were so few hip hop groups. Mm hmm that you couldn't just segment it out to genre, to hip hop genres. Right, but let me let me tell you why, but let me let me tell you why. Let me tell you why groups like NWA and why groups like Public Enemy always asked us to tour with them. We helped them. We helped them get in the buildings. Those those groups had trouble getting insurance mm. for those buildings. So Public Enemy was call us every year like, "Yo, boom boom boom. Yo, we got kid and play, and uh, you know we they used us to to you know I mean not used us but they incorporated us yeah. to to kind of show that yo it's not all boom bitty bap it's not gangster rap it's not that you know uh, uh, public enemy political stuff and and we all went out together they would that's why they would throw us or or, or Jazzy Jeff and Will on the on the huh. bill with them to get in the building shit was T K Kirkland T K Kirkland <laughs> <laughs> you always get me talking about this he's it's everywhere. Like, TK, yeah, He's TK, everywhere. no, TK was was the he was the MC of that NWA tour. Mm -hmm. He he was you know in between all the acts and whatever like that. Yeah, yep. that's TK. <laughs> Any way and, too short was on that tour. Too, too short right? as well. Yes, right, was. right, right, right. You know, we were the ones that didn't really belong, but we was like, hey, whatever, you know. A Ooh. Any uh, any crazy Easy E NWA stories along the way? Um, you know what? Back then. Like I said, we we didn't really know each other prior to that, you know. So it was like some East Coast, West Coast. But once we got once we got down and started kicking it, man, we were all getting along, you know, shooting pool, you know, at the hotel or whatever like that. Um, and and you know, like you know, chasing girls type stuff. There was a lot of that going on back mm -hmm. then. Um, we never saw a whole lot of Easy. You know what I mean? Like outside of being on stage, like Easy was always keeping it moving, and he was always like in a you know like the you know, the presidential suite or whatever, you know what I mean? They kind of kept them yeah. like, like separate or whatever. But I will, I do remember one night we were um, performing, I think it was Cincinnati, and they, they gave us a little pep talk before the show. They had like a city council person and some of the local leaders saying, hey man, you guys cannot curse on stage. We, we can't have no cursing. There, there's zero tolerance. Like NWA, don't even think about singing "fuck the police." That's everything is done. All y'all, all you can't curse this and that. And back in the days, like you know, Play and I was never really known for that. But there was a point in um in uh, the song "Getting Funky" where we we would go, "Man, don't even fuck with me. We get funky like that." We would do that. So that night. We flipped it. We went back to the original and we was like, man, don't even mess with me. We're getting funky. Blah, 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 blah. Then later on, NWA went on and they started cussing and whatever like that. And we all had to we all had to run out off the stage into the into the van. 
before the cops came and run, <laughs> run back to, a, to the hotel, right? So, man, we ran, we all ran in, and we're all in the van together. I'm in the van, and we got Ren and Ice Cube, and they were all up in there. And then I think it was Cube. Cube looked at me like, you know, like, looked at me like I'm a sucker. And he was like, man, don't even mess with me. We're getting funky. I was like, shut up. <laughs> like, you fucking, he's like, you pussy ass motherfuckers. I was like, because they cussed. And that's the reason why we had to dip. But we was, you know, he was like, man, don't even mess with me. We're getting funky. I was like, shut up. Ice Cube. 